Hi, boys and girls. We've been doing a lot of reading lately, and one thing a good reader does is they think about a lesson that the story is teaching them. That's called the central message. So as you're reading, you want to be thinking, what is the central message? Hmm. Our learning goal for today is I can figure out the central message in a story. Boys and girls, if you do not yet have a partner for this exercise, you're going to need to go grab a buddy. So if you need one, press pause and press play once you've found a buddy. All right, friends, what is a lesson? Well, the central message, in other words, it's just a moral of the story or a lesson that is what the story can teach us. So here are a few examples. In some stories, you might learn to always do your best. Maybe you learn to be nice to others, to tell the truth, never give up, be a friend, or to be brave. We're going to look at some stories today and try to figure out what the central message is of them. Watch me give it a try. For story number one, Danny saw his friends playing on the classroom iPad. He knew he wanted a turn. He decided to tell the boys that the teacher said it was his turn. The boys felt sad, but still gave Danny the iPad. The entire time Danny played on the iPad, he felt guilty for telling a lie. He went to the other boys and gave them the iPad. He also told them he was sorry for not being honest. Hmm. As I was reading that, I was picking up on some clues that was helping me to figure out that central message. One of them was that he felt guilty for telling a lie. The other one was that he had to tell them he was sorry. So after I was reading this, I started to think, hmm, since Danny felt guilty for lying and had to say I'm sorry for lying, the lesson must be do not lie. Then you won't have guilt or have to apologize. Do you guys agree? I thought you would. Let's try another one. This time I'm going to read you the story and you and your buddy are going to talk about it. Story number two. Jill had homework for math, reading, and writing. Her friends asked her to come over after school. Jill knew she really needed to do her homework, but she didn't want to miss out on playtime. Jill asked her mom if she could go to her friend's house. She asked if she had homework, but Jill said no. The next day at school, Jill got a detention because her homework was not finished. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and pause this video and talk with your buddy about what you guys think the central message might be or the lesson that Jill has learned. Press play when you're ready to check yourself. All right, did you talk to your buddy about what you think the lesson is? Here are some clues. Were you thinking what I was thinking? That Jill got in trouble for not doing her homework? Hmm, if you were, then the lesson must be to do your homework. Give yourself a big pat on the back if that's what you and your buddy thought too. Good job. Let's try one more time. So I'm gonna read you the story and you and your buddy listen carefully and then you're gonna pause it when I'm done to talk about what you think the lesson learned is. Ben knew the school rules on the playground. You were not supposed to hang from the monkey bars unless there was a teacher around. Ben wanted to impress his friends though. So Ben decided to jump up and grab the monkey bars. As soon as he reached for the next monkey bar, his fingers slipped and he fell to the ground. Ben heard a pop and felt a lot of pain in his arm. He knew it was broken. All right, take a minute to pause the video and talk with your buddy about what you guys think the central message is that the character Ben is learning in the story. Press play when you're ready to check. All right, I bet you guys are doing some really good thinking. 
before we check ourselves, let's think about some clues that we were, that maybe we, we learned when we read the story. So one clue that I know I noticed was that he was deciding to jump up and grab the monkey bars, even though he knew that was against the rule. Also, he heard that big pop and felt that pain in his arm, so he knew it was broken. Hmm, poor Ben. Well, I definitely learned a lesson from him. Always follow the rules. Is that what you and your buddy thought too? It's definitely an important lesson. I hope Ben learned it. All right, it is your turn, my friends. Your exit ticket is to read the last story and then send a message on Seesaw telling your teacher what the central message is of the story. Story four. Beth was trying out for soccer team for the fifth time. She has tried out every year for the last five years but she has never made it. Beth thought she would try again because she had been practicing a lot. At the soccer tryouts, she made a goal and dribbled the ball really well. The next day, she got a phone call saying that she made the team. Beth was so happy to be on the team. All right, boys and girls, make sure you think about the clues that could help you determine what Beth learned from her lesson of the story and seesaw your teacher what you think the central message is. Good luck.